Hi there, welcome to Be A Surface Pro. Today's Surface Pro tip is battery life tips and tricks. You could use the mobile app version or the UWP app version instead of the desktop version to save yourself a lot more power. On the battery page in the settings app, you'll notice a link at the top here says battery usage by app. If you go into that link there, you'll see a list of all of your applications and at the top, you'll see the applications that are consuming the most power on your device. So if you look down that list, think about maybe either stopping those applications from running while you run battery, or maybe using alternatives. For example, in the Windows Store, you can download a version of OneNote or Word or Excel that's designed for mobile devices. We call this a Universal Windows Programmer or UWP app. Those programs from the store almost always use less battery life than their desktop equivalent. And my last tip for you is to have a look down in the system tray on the bottom right hand side of your Windows taskbar. And in there you'll see the programs that are running in the background and you might see programs like Dropbox, OneDrive and other cloud synchronization services. These programs are also consuming battery when you're off the power cord. So you might want to think about either turning those off while you're on battery power or using the app version. For example, there's a Dropbox app in the store so you could use that app instead of using the desktop synchronization client. Oh, and one more thing. Avery Maples commented on our last video, tip number 22, draw on a web page. She said, please tell me why the battery life on my Surface Pro 4 is so erratic. I simply keep it plugged in as I never know how long it will last. Now it may be that Avery is clicking on the power icon or the battery icon down in the system tray and looking at the amount of time that Windows tells you is left on battery. I find that this number is a little bit unreliable in Windows 10. I think that the way it works is that it looks at the power consumption of your device right now and it predicts at that rate how long your battery would last. But the reality is with devices like the Surface Pro that they can really increase their power consumption and decrease their power consumption very rapidly. So you might look at the clock one minute and it says they've got three hours left and then you click on it again in another minute and it says four hours left. Instead of using that, I found a little program online called Battery Bar Pro. It's a free program that you can download and I think if you pay about $10 US, you can get the full version of that program. It puts a little icon down in your uh, system tray down here on the right hand side that shows your battery life and your predicted runtime. This number is calculated on averages and it, I've just found that it gives you a much better prediction of what your real battery life will be. The paid version of the application also gives you a couple of interesting stats like battery wear. Now lithium ion batteries like the ones that are in all modern devices do degrade over time. They lose a little bit of their charge capacity every year. And the battery wear figure there will tell you how much is missing from your Surface Pro battery and how quickly it's going downhill. So I'll leave a link below to the Battery Bar program if you want to take a look at that for your Surface Pro. Now I don't get paid to review those applications and I've purchased that application myself for my surfaces. So please don't think that this is a paid endorsement. So if you found this tip helpful, remember to tell us by giving us the thumbs up. If you've got friends or colleagues who have a Surface Pro, share this tip with them. And subscribe to our channel for more Surface Pro tips. There's a new one out every Wednesday.